Hi everyone, on today's video I'm not going to review a camera, I'm going to show you how I test a camera after I got it. You see I got this Canon FT camera from the 1960s yesterday at the flea market. It was looking filthy but um, just a few Windex and paper towels made it look like this and it's in a pristine condition. But does it perform as good as it looks? Well, that's what I'm going to try find out. So I hand loaded a film with uh, 15 exposures on it because I don't want to ruin a whole roll of film. I took some pictures and processed them. A few moments later. And there we are, the film is now processed. Let's have a look at it. Obviously, I'm not going to talk to you about the negatives, but the first thing I can mention is that the frame spacing is even. Some cameras they have issues and uh, some frames will be overlapping. This is obviously not the case so the camera is working perfectly. One thing I'd like to mention is that this camera originally uses mercury batteries. These batteries they have a nominal voltage of 1.35 and alkaline batteries and the ones that are sold today have a nominal voltage of 1.55. Lots of cameras, they don't like this little surge of voltage and you get underexposed pictures. I only know of two cameras that don't see any problem with this. It's the Spantax Spotmatic series and the Canon EF. Some people say that the Canon FT and FTB won't see any problem with this. And by looking at my negative, I can say that they don't look like they are underexposed by any ways. But now I'm gonna scan these pictures and uh, we're gonna talk about this. And we'll see if this camera is worthy of taking pictures or not. Okay, so this is the first picture I took and I trusted what the camera was saying. This is, as you can see, harsh sunlight. And the camera told me to use a 1 over 125 at an aperture of 16, which is uh, totally logical for a bright sunlight on a sunny day. And uh, this is what we got. Uh, I can see that the image is uh, correctly exposed. And remember that I did not touch or digitally enhance any of these pictures with uh, any kind of software. This is raw from the scanner. Point. This image was uh, taken at a very high shutter speed, the maximum shutter speed of the camera, 1 over 1000, just to see if there was no shutter bounce or shutter capping. Shutter bounce, well, it looks like this, uh, simulated with a piece of software. It means that the second curtain is bouncing off, and that's a problem well known on FT and FTB cameras, and uh, you can see on uh, YouTube there is a channel who explains how to fix it. It's complicated, there is a lot of uh, things to do, but it's totally doable if you have basic tools at hand. But this is a picture I got, and well, doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, this is uh, another picture, I took it at an aperture of 2.8, uh, once again to see if the camera, were, the lens was sharp enough, and. Uh, well, as far as I can tell, um, there are plenty of details. It's a really, really sharp lens. I, I know it's Canon FL, not an FD lens, but yeah, it's a very, very cool result. So plenty of details. I'm very happy about this. And, and this is the last picture. Once again, you have a, a speck of dust here, but it's a kind of a difficult situation. You see, over here, there is the sky, the cloud, which is even brighter, and this tree, which is uh, almost in the shadow, and uh, we get some details in the shadow of this tree, um, even though we are using uh, a, a picture with a lot of different lighting conditions. So we have very bright parts on it and darker parts, but the camera seems to cope well with this situation. So my conclusion, well, it looks like this camera is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well, guys, I can say that this camera is uh, looking as good as it performs or the other way around. I really like it. It's from the 1960s. It's a really cool looking camera, a really good nick, and uh, it seems to be working properly, no issues whatsoever. So uh, I think I was lucky because 
sometimes you get yourself a camera at a flea market and uh, you realize that you just thrown away 20 or 30 bucks because it's not working properly. Obviously you don't have all the tools at hand to check if everything is working. You don't carry along the batteries to check a camera at the flea market, obviously. But this time I was lucky and uh, I would say thank you to the seller who was um, somehow honest and knew that the camera was not that faulty. It was just filthy. Anyways, that's all I get for you today. As always, uh, thank you for watching and uh, be seeing you guys.